Hey guys, it's Lena here and a couple more weeks in this year and uh, we're excited to be back with you doing the Power Minutes. These are the devotionals that I share with you uh, Monday to Friday on YouTube. So welcome YouTube. Uh, I'm going to break it to you. I'm not sure I'm going to do them in 2023, uh, but you're going to have a bunch of backtracked Power Minutes that you can look at and um, we're still going to do power minutes, just not sure I'm going to do the video. So and we have some other ideas in mind that I'm going to develop. And so there's just not enough time in the day. So I want to give you a heads up. That's not supposed to be a, a Christmas surprise, but it is a, it's a fact. So just wanted to let you know, but that's okay. Uh, enjoy them for the next three weeks because I know you guys love them. And leave me some high fives and stuff in the comment section if you do. And of course, you remember, you can subscribe to them at uh, livingwithpower.org slash power minute. Today's devotional is called Grace is Enough. Our verse is from Titus 2.11. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people. Grace has been defined as a whole lot of things. Grace is God's riches at Christ's expense or its undeserved favor. Grace is God accomplishing for us what we could never accomplish on our own. I like to think of grace as the reason I'm still here writing. Grace is all I need for all I do all the time. Grace is Jesus who appeared on the earth at one moment in time with one purpose in mind, to bring salvation for all people and to reconcile us to God. None of us deserve God's goodness. None of us can earn God's goodness. And most of us don't fully appreciate God's goodness. Yet God, knowing he would be rejected and crucified, willingly appeared to men, intentionally carrying the cross, submissively bowing his head to die for you and me. While I might need future grace to make it day by day, it's that grace that has already appeared to all men that continues to bring salvation to anyone who believes in Jesus. If you're wondering how you're going to make it through the day, the answer is grace. Grace, what you and I don't deserve and yet get freely. So let's draw on God's grace. The more sin abounds, the more grace there is for us. That doesn't mean we sin on purpose, but that means we rejoice knowing that we're forgiven. This is the message of Christmas, by the way. If you're wondering what is Christmas about, it is this. It is that Jesus died and then rose again and was born first and then died and rose again. Easter is follows Christmas, I know. But um, anyway, I'm really excited about this season because we get to celebrate the birth of Jesus. So, hey, if you don't know Jesus, um, get to know him today. There's no better day. And if you do know him, rejoice in all he's done for us and in his grace. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Remember, you can subscribe to these Power Minutes at livingwithpower.org slash power minutes.